Hey guys, this is Ronnie here. Today we're going to be talking about a little trick that I thought of to use when you're in the woods for identifying different trees. We're going to be using a combination of an app and a marking device so I can uh, flag these trees, know what they are in the future by just looking at them. And what this is going to help us do is twofold. It'll help us learn identification of trees by, uh, by remembering them. It'll be labeled for us. But also, it'll flag it so when I come in here in the future and clear some more of this thicket out, I'll know not to, to cut these trees. I want a, a great diversity on my property, not just one type of tree or two types of trees, but I want multiple species of trees on here, especially ones that provide wildlife benefit. So let's show you what we're going to do. All right, guys, so I got this tree behind me right here. I've already ID'd this tree. I used an app called picture this so basically what you do is you download this app i'm not sure if it's for android i have an iphone so i know that it's on ios um, in the app store so once you download this app and there is a paid version but there's also a free version but i have always used the, the free version um, if you look down below here like i'm showing you there's a little link that says continue on for, with the free version you click that and you basically uh, go to the little camera take a picture of the leaves. You can do bark, but bark I find is less is, is less accurate. But take a picture of the leaves, and I find that this app is very accurate. So what I'm doing is I'm going throughout my property. Like I said, my property is very thick in certain areas. So I'm going through my property, and I'm, I'm IDing trees that I want to save when I come back to clear some of this property. Persimmon trees, These uh, this tree right here happens to be a white fringe tree. Um, uh, also known as, as a great granddaddy graybeard tree. Uh, my daddy loved these trees. Uh, that's one reason why I'm saving them. Um, oak trees, different types of oak trees. Uh, um, like I said, persimmon trees. Um, if I find anything unique and interesting, sourwood trees, um, things along those lines I want to save. My property is overloaded with sweet gums, so those I want to concentrate on getting rid of. I don't want to get rid of every one of them, but I do want to get rid of a lot of them because if I clear an area, hundreds of those will sprout up everywhere. So basically, my process here is to ID the tree with this plant, uh, uh, picture this plant ID app, find out what kind of tree it is, and then I'm going to use marking ribbon. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a section of the marking ribbon, and then I'm going to write on it what the tree is. So let's show you how we're going to do this. One note I do want to say, I do not think that this is going to last uh, for a long time. Uh, Sharpies tend to degrade uh, with UV light. Um, they do make some different labels, um, type of markers that you could use. Maybe I'll get some of those and come back later. But for the purpose of the video, I'm going to use this. We'll see how long it lasts. Uh, maybe a year or two, hopefully. So this is a fringe tree. And I know that you can see I just wrote that on there. Then I'm just going to pull off a section. And I'm going to go over here and tie it onto the tree. All right, as you can see, I got the tree labels. Pretty short, pretty simple. Now when I'm walking through here, I can pick out the trees that I have labeled. If I come back in the wintertime, the leaves are gone. I still know what kind of tree it is. Um, that's the other comment that I'd like to make is when I'm going to be uh, clearing some of this, it's going to be in the wintertime. Uh, I plan to make this property into more of a savanna, which is what the southeast it, what this is what type of terrain this was it was like an oak and pine savanna oak trees spaced out very wide with grass in between them so that's what i plan on doing and putting in some um, pollinator gardens and, and mixed into that uh, to to uh, improve the habitat so i hope you enjoyed this video i hope it brought some value to you if it did Give us a thumbs up and leave us a comment below if you like this idea. 
and we'll see you on the next video.